We use the classical LMA, we use the Procil and the Supreme. Uh, we used, we've been using the Procil LMA for the last eight years in elective cesarean section for general anesthesia. And I mean, it's fantastic device to be used in general anesthesia because it is separating the GI tract from the respiratory tract. Uh, we didn't find any complications whatsoever using that. We published a paper using the PLMA for 3,000 cases and very minimal side effects or complications. The problems with the laryngoscopy and the uh, surging of blood pressure up and down during induction and during the recovery from anesthesia. You don't find that with the PLMA. Insertion of PLMA doesn't increase blood pressure that much or the heart rate or the sympathetic stimulation in general. And with the emerge of anesthesia, it's amazing. The patient wakes on himself, he can take the proceed with his hand and there is no coughing, no bucking on the, like on the endotracheal tube. It's easy to insert, it's very durable uh, and with different sizes you can use, a go you can have a good seal and because of the posterior uh, posterior cuff of the Procil laryngeal mask, it can be fixed and tight on the oropharynx and the hypopharynx. We have to have to change an anesthesia. I mean, since ages they have told us you have to do rapid sequence induction in anesthesia uh, because of regurg. With the PLMA, you find less complications, less side effects, even if you compare it with intubation. With intubation, you can have a failed intubation. It's difficult intubation, difficult to ventilate, difficult to, to um, bag the patient. With the PLMA, you can find it easy to insert, easy to ventilate. Believe me, it is very safe. Uh, I work in obstetric hospital and we all do all cesarean sections under Procil and colleagues coming from other hospitals just to see how we use it and it is, it is very safe. And now we are using it even for gastric banding for obese patients like 130, 140 kilos. Uh, we are using it and it's very safe. The only thing is sore throat, they find it, if you overinflate the cuff, that's all. And w once they start drinking something warm, it goes away by itself. The only thing is to keep the head straight while inserting and through the procedure itself. If you overinflate the cuff and rotate the head, you may cause compression to the larynx and you may injure the nerves.